All right, it's the dozen trivia competition presented by CBDMD. Actually, I got to get my got to get my CBDMD over here. Real quick, right off the bat, like in the first half second of this of this trivia show, did Biz Nasty just just take a, a hit of a vape? Immediately? I hope so. Immediately. It took him that long. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling <laughs> I'm feeling okay. Cannabis makes me more intelligent. Science. Oh, no wonder I'm a genius. Sure, science. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me, let me edit this is that a performance enhancing drug on the show or something did yeah. i get busted are we already that, done could be no definitely hey, not as long as you know what you're performing at your computer how do you know how well do you know presidents biz <laughs> what I, I don't, what money are they on i don't I even know read. <laughs> i don't even know prime ministers for crying out loud uh, so. biz knows presidents he just knows them if, if it's a portrait of them that's wrapped up really really tightly yeah yeah to the circumference to the circumference of a nostril that's about it any wider than that though i certainly avalanche uh best best intro we've had for anyone biz and ra thanks for joining us spitting chicklets makes their dozen debut speaking of tightly wrapped dollar bills ra welcome to the show uh it's not my first time doing trivia with with jeff and the boys uh first time with you biz so uh, i guess you just yeah i guess you have a decoration reasons because it's not for trivia you got the anchor today you got two you got two on two here today though maybe you're gonna phone a friend later maybe you phone whip maybe you phone grinnell but it's two on two here today the 30 second match the last time brandon and pft played they got they got dusted there was a bit of controversy controversy some cheating scandals there won't be any cheating from RA and Biz. I know that. Explain Dusted. Okay, they we got, got destroyed. <laughs> it was we ugly. Won, we had won several in a row, and last time, you know, everybody has an off day. We had an off day, and we got destroyed. Oh, that's a letdown. Okay. Uh, before we get into it, before we explain the rules, this episode brought to you in part by CBDMD. doesn't matter if you're a professional athlete, former professional athlete, broadcaster, host of a serious radio show at 11 o'clock in the morning. Or no. Uh, 12 o'clock. That as well. That's actually what I meant to say. Uh, you, you need to uh, you need to make it through the day. And luckily, our friends at CBDMD, they got an amazing duo that can help you relax, regroup, recharge. PFT, hold it up again. Hey, yeah, right. It's in my pants. Oh, it's in your pants. Okay. CBD Freeze with menthol is an award-winning product that offers instant cooling relief for muscles and joints in a convenient and easy-to-use roller or shareable squeeze tube. CBD Recover combines the CBD uh, with inflammation-fighting compounds, uh, help give you support where uh, you need it most. And to make it even easier to try this amazing duos and more, these gummies as well, and everything else CBD, uh, they're offering, CBDMD is, our viewers, our fans, 25% off your next order with promo code DOZEN, D-O-Z-E-N. Once again, CBD.com, promo code DOZEN for 25% off your purchase. Uh, get those superior CBD oils and products from CBD. Holy shit, and that's, a, that's <sighs> quite the ad read there. And, uh, and- Giants. And PFT, why'd you have it in your pants? Does it cure herpes? Ooh, that's a little trash no, talk. Can, oh, that's wow. a little trash talk. Oh, wow. Listen, you don't follow up trash, trash talk by immediately announcing that that was trash talk. Yeah, that, that was trash say. talk. That was that's trash a big talk. pheasant move. No. Brandon, <laughs> you're a little too quick on that reply. Nothing cures herpes. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> For multiple states. Before we start, so RA, we know your strength. Big pop culture, kind of everything. You're kind of the trivia guy. Biz, would you say you got a strength in trivia? A- any any strengths for you? Uh, like fashion. If we're talking about anything maybe fashion related. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do not a lot of same. fashion topics. Yeah, well, Randy, yeah, on fashion too. Skin care products, um, Kylie Jenner Brand- lip gloss, anything in that uh-huh. re- realm. Yeah. I, I try to, to pick care. out if you bought a pair of uh, jeans at Marshall's or JCPenney like that. He knows Correct. it like the back of his head. <laughs> Correct. I try to cater at least one category to everyone. I think I got one that might be your expertise. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so here's how it works. 12 rounds of trivia, half sports, half non-sports, 24 total questions. Every round starts with Brandon and PFT, 30 seconds on the clock. If they miss, it goes to the other side. You get half the time to steal, and then it flips vice versa. If I need more than two answers, two or more, you get 60 seconds. And then everyone has two lifelines. You can double up a category. You can only do it one time, and you must do it at the beginning of a round. And then you have a phone a friend. You have one phone or FaceTime a friend. And you so, must uh, double at least once. Yeah, and you got to double once. Thank you, Rules Master Brandon. Well, I'm just making sure because they've never played, so they might not use it. Well, all right. That was a big time. You forgot to assign homework thing that Brandon just did right there. All right. I have a one-come one rule. 
All right, you remember all these uh, rules, and I'll re- yeah. I'll remember to answer the questions. I've okay? played by them many times before, so I go, okay. Here we go. First okay. category is going to be <laughs> sports states and cities. Sports oh, states. Oh shit! And oh shit! Oh, no one wants to double I assume. Here it is. Thirty seconds on the clock. This is for Brandon and PFT. What North American city has the most championships out of cities with only three major sports over its history? And this is just the main leagues, NHL, NBA, NFL, and MLB. So the first one that came to my mind was Pittsburgh. Oh. I would think it would be Pittsburgh, yeah. right? I mean, hold on. Let's, work, the, the the yes. Let's work through some others. Um, so many have four. Uh, Atlanta has four. Denver, um, you know, like Portland has one. So yeah, I mean, Boston has four. Dallas has how many? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are we ready for a guess? Gonna need an yeah. answer. Yep. Do you have it? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh yeah. is your guess. It's got to be right. That answer is. Let's see if my buzzer will work here. Not 100%. the buzzer. Well, Not the buzzer. Incorrect. Fifteen. Oh, come seconds on. The other side. Other side. Fifteen seconds to steal. Can Can you repeat the? Oh, there it is, right there. It's in front what, of you. American city has the most championships of cities. Um. Oh shit. Uh, is, that, I, is that currently or in, or in history? I I, 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 I would. I, yeah, I would say. Uh, I would say Tor- Toronto. Maybe all right. Five, four, um, three. Toronto, Two. Toronto, Toronto. Final answer? Uh, you know what it is? It's fucking probably Montreal. Oh, yeah. It is Toronto. That is correct. God, yes. Biz. Fucking Never right. Yourself. North America. Nice guess, Biz. Holy shit. What? Well, I'm, just, I'm just curious. So the Maple Leafs have a whole bunch of titles? They do. Well, yeah. The, the, the they last got one was in 67, but they went a shitload before two, that. Okay. Two MLB. Two MLB Blue Jays in 9293, yeah. 93 and 93. No, 93 and 93, yeah. Raptors have won. won. Okay, other side. Known when it's in North America. Three sports, though. Should have known. That was us. And three sports. Pittsburgh was still a good guess. What North American city is for Biz and RA? For Chicklets, 30 seconds. What North American city has the most championships out of cities with only two major sports over its history? Brandon is beside himself, and they haven't even guessed yet. Cincinnati, maybe, since you've had... Well, basketball, uh, football, uh, I was going to say potentially Montreal because they had the Expos at one point. Yeah, but ex- the mo- baseball, hockey, football, but they didn't have an NFL team and then have a basketball team. I think it might be Cincinnati, Biz. It says North American City has the most championships. Of- right, right. That's what I'm saying. Like Cincinnati, the Reds had a bunch of championships back in the I day. I know, but M- Montreal, Montreal. Oh, Montreal, like Montreal, the. Uh, Five those Canadians. Four baseball, basketball. Three. I mean, all right, Cincinnati. Then your answer, uh, Cincinnati. All right, actually, you know what? Need the answer. Montreal, Montreal, Montreal. 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 God damn it! It is the it is Montreal. <laughs> Twenty six. All right, Hello, everybody. Good point, Biz. They wanted to say Cincinnati so bad. I, I know, but our, Biz really talked them out of it. Biz, good job, buddy. Good job, all buddy. Right. You're welcome. All right, that that okay. So who wants I, to be final answer guy? Just, I have, just I'm stoned. That would be convinced. Okay, then Biz is final answer guy. Uh, Brandon, um, we can't lose this. We next category. This already time. two nothing. Next category. Yeah, we know the score, Jeff. It's celebrity mashup. Celebrity mashup. Okay. So you're going to see a picture of two celebrities photoshopped together. You got to tell me who the two celebrities are. This is for Brandon and PFT. 30 seconds on the clock. Okay. Who is this celebrity mashed up? Here's the full screen picture. That is, I have no clue. That is crazy. I think I know. Quite a chin on him, huh? Quite a chin. Great chin. <laughs> Good eyebrows, too. Looks like he waxes those. Not the worst looking guy I've ever seen on the mashups. <laughs> no, I want to say Jay Leno, but that can't be it because we've had Jay Leno. We've had right? Jay Leno. There's a meaty chest, too. Okay. <laughs> You can't even see his chest. Need an right? answer you, in five. You like his neck. Four, three, two. I don't know. Nothing. Okay, fifteen seconds on the other side for the steal. Jeff, Brad Garrett and Matthew Perry. Brad Garrett and Matthew Perry. Final answer. 
I mean, yeah, I don't even have one guess. All right, you got one of them. It's Brad Garrett and Daniel Radcliffe. That was Harry terrible. Uh, that yeah, was yeah, a was good crazy. Brad Garrett is a great guess. I like uh, the way you said was, that, Jeff. I was scared. Shit. Holy shit. All right. If you would have pulled that rabbit uh, out that was, was, All right. Was, here's yours, though. I'd be 30 seconds. Off of that he does have a meaty chest. <laughs> you can't That's even see his chest, Brad. You can see his chest. 30 shit. seconds for Biz and R.A. Who are these two celebrities mashed up? It kind of uh, the 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 outside kind of looks like uh, what's the guy from National Treasure? Nick Cage. Nick Cage. Oh, God, I, I I'm fucking drawing up seventeen blanks with that face. I don't know. That's just I, I I don't know. I have no idea who that is. Me neither. Let's say I'll say Nicholas Cage. And it looks like Mandy Mullen. Okay, that's the that's our mashup. Nick <laughs> Cage and Mandy that's, Mullen. That's just my buddy Selby. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> is that your friend? Yeah, friend yeah. <laughs> I think that's Nick Cage too. Yeah, Nick Cage sounds like a good answer. I I don't know those white eyes. The like, the it's white almost like eyes. Youthful. There's a youthful. There's a kid in here almost. Mm-hmm. Um, Haley Joel Osment. Five. Just name children, Four, Brandon. Yeah, five. Three. Yeah, I give them all. Hill. This Nick is Cage and trivia. Haley Joel Osment. I'm going check it. This is uh, trivia. I can write it on the show with this if I need to. So. Here it is. The correct answer. You got it wrong. Biz was on the right track. It is Nick Cage. And it's Nick Cage and Tom Holland, the Spider Man actor. Useful. Wow, that's crazy. I would have never got that. Nick Cage and Tom Holland. Okay. Other side, two nothing still. Category three is Super Bowl halftime shows. All right. Brandon and PFT. This music icon played the Super Bowl 30 halftime show and ended the show by getting in a helicopter and flying away. All right, so Super Bowl 30 would 95, have been... 95. Um, 85 Bears was was 20. So it was the it was the Cowboys and Steelers. I believe it was Michael Jackson. Okay. Seems like it could be a little late for him. But it was definitely ninety five or ninety six, right there. It was it was January ninety six. Was oh, both. Oh. Could Who be else Madonna. Was the biggest time? Could be Madonna, but I think it's Michael Jackson. And five. Okay, we'll go with that. Michael, Michael Jackson? Jackson. Yes. Incorrect. Other side. R A. Biz. Any idea? I would. I would guess Lady Gaga. R A. No, Super Bowl 30. That was like 1991. Uh, well, oh, I'm okay. sorry. I, I, I lost Brandon. What was his missed, missed guest? I didn't hear it. I didn't I didn't have one. He, uh, I, I think oh, – hang, hang on one sec. Hang on. I think I – Oh, he's got – Our opponents get unlimited time. No, no, okay. No, all right. No, 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 this music – no, I said Michael Jackson in the uh, – that was, I guess, Michael Jackson in the, in the, the halftime show. By he, they are, they, that. that is – I have to take it. You're out of time, but that is what they get. It's Diana Ross. Oh, I, I remember her. All right. the national anthem, didn't she? For R.A. and Biz. R.A. and Biz. Super Bowl 35's halftime show featured a theme of kings of rock and pop and had what legendary rock band performing? Oh, it has to be AC. Aerosmith. Aerosmith, no. I don't know, R.A. That's like your pattern. Yeah, it's your I'll era. Say Aerosmith. Final you, answer. You, sounds like it is. Yeah. Sure. It was Aerosmith, 3 nothing. Wow. Tom out. Tom out. Great job, R.A. You're Thank fucking. You, Thank that's you, a big one. That's Brandon, where I needed Brandon, to go. Brandon, is, 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 Brandon is beside Brandon, himself. We are so in this right now. We're down 3 nothing. That's fine. We've come back from way more than this before. All right, next category. Uh, this one I think is the one that Biz might be good at. It's the lightning round presented by CBDMD, CBDMD.com, <laughs> promo code DOZEN. It's taxes. 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 Oh, shit. This Fuck is for that. Brandon and PFT. Brandon and PFT. 30 seconds. Name the three most eastern states with no income tax on wages and salary. Okay, right. that would be Florida's right. one. Yeah. Tennessee would be another one. Right. And then... Uh, I would say Texas, unless I'm uh, unless I'm missing one. I know I got, for a fact that those three don't have them. I got Florida and Texas. It, are you sure on Tennessee? Tennessee, I'm sure about Tennessee. Yeah. Okay. I don't. Let's just go through the Eastern Seaboard. Like uh, any southern states could. I don't know if North Carolina, South Carolina. I don't know. 
Virginia. Mm-hmm. Let the Mississippi taxes go to. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Shut up. <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> Let them finish your answer. I'm fucking with like you. It says Eastern states. Like you could be time. fucking with us because Texas obviously isn't Eastern, but that's not the question. So What's the, the time, time on this? Right. Yeah, most Eastern. It does, yeah. Most Eastern states. Ohio has income tax. Kentucky, I believe, has income tax. Oh, Although, like, gotta be a state. Five, five, so four. Florida. Yeah, Florida. Florida. Yeah, in Texas. Yep. Uh, other side, three most eastern states. Uh, all right, all right. New Hampshire has no uh, state income tax. Yep, New Hampshire, Florida, and Tennessee. Wait, wait, wait. Let's not final answer. Right. Is, we didn't find are, you, are you sure Maryland's not one of them? You get a quicker I, countdown on lightning round five. I, I, well, we, okay, you let's know, go with yours. Florida, New Hampshire, and and I I think well, PF in Tennessee East in Tennessee. Florida, all right. Florida, thank Florida New Hampshire, and Tennessee. It's four. Ah! Thanks, PFT, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> What the fuck? How do you know New Hampshire? How do you know New Hampshire, baby? Because he because he played there, you dummy. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right. Okay, hang on. Every, every, where he played? Every minor league hockey team in America, so he knows every fucking oh. small state hey. that nobody knows. Sometimes it's good to suck. Uh, okay, lightning league? round. You have thirty seconds. Here you go. You're up four nothing. Name the three most western states with no income tax oh, on wages and salary. By the way, this is uh, this is all continental. Alaska is out of this oh, one. Damn it! Um, oh, so not, I'm glad you pointed that out. Um, Washington. <laughs> I gotta start cheating. Wait, no, no, it's us. This. Is- yes, yeah. yes. Washington, right, Nevada, Wash- right? Nevada, Washington, Nevada, Nevada, and I want to say Utah. What about Texas? Um, what is due to Utah not have state tax? Well, hey, listen. If so, you want to, if you want to say Washington, right, so, but Washington's a definite, right? You see Five. Washington, Washington, right? Nevada, Nevada, and let's say Texas. Texas. That is incorrect. Other side. This I, would be a big steal. I never thought that that Washington was one of them. I for some reason I what thought I thought maybe Oregon. No, but I know Oregon sale has sales huh? tax stuff. Oh yeah. I don't know. I mean, uh, Nevada. Nevada's one. Yeah, that's accurate. Oregon, Texas is another one, but they seem pretty confident. In Washington, Four. where did they guess? Where did they guess? I guess Washington, that? Texas, and Nevada. Oh, yeah, Nevada, Texas, and Oregon. No, you incorrect. You overlooked. You overlooked one of them. You overlooked one of them. You overlooked Wyoming. Wyoming, the three guy. So we we missed, we missed Wyoming. Wow. Yeah. So Washington, Nevada, I. I thought it was Utah for some reason. You should have had Wyoming. Rattled. I'm good. I'm good. Next category is the National it's Hockey fine. League. Oh. The national, it's, it's, you knew there was going to be NHL. There's a fucking I mean, NHL guys you, on here. Did you ask them what they wanted the categories to be? There's <laughs> NHL guys on here. All right. The next category is uh, big city slams that business taken down. Uh <laughs> What about Brandon and PFT, and 30 say. seconds. Focus up. You're not out of this yet. It's only 4 nothing. Only two active players have over 800 career assists, Sidney Crosby and who else? 30 oh, seconds on the clock. Right. right? What? Right? Who were the points totals leaders? The recent ones? Yeah. Um, there's uh, McDavid. Now, he hasn't played long enough for that, has he? I know. Ovechkin um, is not an assist guy, right? Who, no, no, he's not an assist guy. But he, he has – he, he can pass. Yeah, he can pass. You're right. What about uh, – Oh, no, what are you he, hating on Ovechkin now? Uh, hey, 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 hold on, hold on. You hating on Ovechkin? Well, hang on, hating on Ovechkin. You're hating on Ovechkin. No worries about Ovechkin. <laughs> hey, we, we went through the list today. We did. We did. I'm trying to think. There's – um. Oh, maybe maybe Joe Thornton. Five. Maybe Joe Thornton. Four. Yeah, I would say I would say I would say Jumbo. Joe Thornton. That saved oh, your oh, oh, baby. Fuck you, Biz. All right. Put your R-A, phone down. You, you, guys are ba- you guys are bad. You guys are bad actors. I'll tell you that. Fucking cheaters. Yeah, I cheat. R- I cheat. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. We get our ass kicked. This All the time. Not- oh, my God. Wait, listen, if if I was cheating, I wouldn't be losing four one to RA and Biz, okay? All right, focus up. It's Biz and RA now. Other side. Who is the active leader among American-born hockey players for career points with 1,022? I would have to say Patrick Kane, um, RA. No, is he, it, is it uh, Ronick or Madonna, though? Is, uh, who is the active leader among oh, American-born hockey players? Yeah, Patty Kane. 
I would say Patrick Kane. Yeah, Patty Final Kane. answer. That is correct. Five to one. You guys didn't lose points in the hockey round, though. So, way to cheat, Biz. Uh, okay, this is a big one. Remember, you can double up. You got to do before the round. Movies is the next category. Movies. All right, you can't fuck this one up. You're <laughs> well, I've already okay. faced this. It's just a little much. It's R R A. It's got an audience. Right. He's just spiking the football on us. No, it's my my mom. I'm on vacation with my mom. She wanted to check into my work. That's 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 my mom saying hello. The, Brandon is I, so rattled. Do you guys want it, Biz and R A? Do you want to double up movies or do you want to save it? No, I'll double up movies. Whoa, whoa, whoa time out. This is a <laughs> team decision, R A. You're Sorry. clearly not yeah, in this the right. Is the halfway points. You got six more of these after this. Cheese and rice. Yeah, I mean, let's do movies. Let's do. Yeah, movies. Okay, they're gonna double up. They're going to double up movies. This is for Brandon and PFT, though. This is just worth one point. Anthony Hopkins starred in two movies in 1998, one alongside Brad Pitt and what else? Brandon and PFT, 30 seconds. Wasn't he in uh, in The Mask of Zorro? Yes. Yes, he was the original Zorro that taught Antonio Banderas. Right. So we only need to name the other movie, right? Yes. The Mask of Zorro. Mask of Zorro. No, well, you have to name two movies. But that's not. There's one of them's with Brad Pitt, and there's another one. I'm just giving you a hint on one of them. I'm just trying to make. I made it easier. Oh, I thought you're asking for one. Love movie. the wording there. Okay. Okay. What was the end with Brad Pitt in 1998? I know the movie was on Pitt in 1998. <laughs> yeah. I think Ra is going to steal this if you don't get it. Ra is about to pass out. <laughs> In, was it yeah. a vampire movie? I don't know. Seven years in Tibet? Wasn't he in that one? No, I don't know. more time for this. Was he in a vampire movie? It feels like they were in. And five, four, three. Stop counting, Thomas, please. One. Need an answer? Uh, we're going to go, Jeff, with Mask of Zorro. And then for a second guess, we are going to uh-huh. guess. The movie uh, that you know commonly. It was the film uh, that he was in. Okay, all right. All right, and Biz. Still here. Still, two Brad Pitt movies from 19. Uh, not Brad Pitt. Two Anthony Hopkins movies from 1998. The movie with Brad Pitt was Meet Joe Black, and I think the other one was Seven. Oh, that's wrong. No, hey, time out. Time out. We're not saying final answer. No, I know. I didn't say final answer. I'm throwing blue biz. Brandon, shut the fuck up. Anthony Hopkins, sir. Uh, <laughs> we'll meet Joe Black together. It was an awful movie, three hours long. Like, it's a known dud. What, where was Anthony Hopkins in it? Come on, Jeff. Come Jeff, on. He's in it. Don't Hold on. You, they get half the time. You had a minute for that. They get 30. Hang on. on. He shot in two movies in 1980. One was with Brad Pitt, and then there was another one. And I'm sorry, it was, it's not seven because Brad Pitt was in seven. It was five. Nine. All right. So what was the first one you said? It was. It's definitely Meet Joe Black. I need the answer okay, right so, now. So meet, meet Joe Black, and what was the second uh, Silence it's of the Lambs? Se- second Silence of the Lambs. I, I, the I told you what it was. was. Meet Joe Black in the second Silence. I told you what it was. was. I had the buzz. He gave it away. It was Zorro. That was correct. <laughs> it's Meet Joe yeah. Black in the Mask of Zorro. I'm having oh, a heart wow. attack over here, Jeff. I know. Oh, well, fuck it. You know. All right, all right. Focus up. All right. This is worth two points. Jerry This is worth two points for Biz and R.A. Matt Damon started two movies in 1999. A Kevin Smith movie and then another movie. What two movies? Um, uh, one of them would have had to have been. Um, it was after Google Hunting, and he played like a, a drug addicted, um, fucking uh, uh, Iraq War vet. I think it's Courage in the Fire. Okay, what's the other one? Um, but Kevin Smith was Dogma. So Dogma and... Courage under it? Fire. Okay, Courage Under Fire, final answer. That is incorrect. Other side, a chance to steal. Dogma. It's worth two okay. points Dog- for you. Dogma is correct. Dogma is the right answer. Um, Fuck. The other one... I just remember the other Talented one. Talented Mr. Ripley, when did that come out? Was that later? 2007. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's not a bad guess. I was thinking the green zone, but I think that was later too. Ten seconds. Good night, Ma. The green zone would have been when, after. When, when did uh, when the Legend of Bagger Vance come out? Also, was he in that? I don't know. <laughs> Pretty massive potential steal here, and you have. Wasn't he in Legend of Bagger Vance? 
I don't Five. Know. I never saw it. It was in the Legend of Bagger Vance, and yeah. say the other one you said. Dogma. And Dogma. Final answer? Yeah. Yes. PFT, you're going to kill Brandon. It's a talented Mr. Ripley and Dogma. Oh, what a movie. Wow, wow. what a – that was that – Oh, was my the, God, uh, Brandon. Oh, Biz, I'm sorry. Well, it's Brandon not, just I, – I thought the talent of Mr. Ripley was before that, but it's just because it was set so farther back in time You watched those as ones. to when they filmed it. I love the talent of uh, Mr. Okay, Ripley. it's five Brent, to one. Brent, I, I just need you to lock in. I need you to move on. You, okay? Here comes the bonus you, round. This, this, happened? this is going to be bananas. Move on. Here's the bonus round. Here's our little video. Guys, we'll make the donut. To make a and it's shaking, mate, All right, here's how the bonus. Do we lose already? I'm here. <laughs> here's how the bonus round works. Here's how it works. I'm there are 20 right. names. 20 names on the board. You will alternate. It's like a. It's fitting. It's like a fucking hockey shootout. It's like a shootout. Brandon and PFT will go first. Then there's an RA. will alternate. You will try to name as many things on the board as possible, one at a time. Whoever's the most after five rounds wins your question you'll have 10 seconds per guest your question is going to be name the top 20 highest paid athletes for the covid altered year of 2020 that's a big part of that question top 20 highest paid athletes for 2020 brandon and pft you guess first i mean mike uh, trout doesn't affect his money mike trout uh, i i don't jeff how does this work with prorated contracts and shit for baseball I mean, players we don't People have made the most money in 2020. Mike That's Trout. all I'm going to give you. And it says COVID altered the year 2020. Year. That's all I can give you. It's altered, Brandon. I don't know if I would go baseball. I would go basketball. Ronaldo? Player. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go Cristiano, Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo is one of them. Biz and Wit. I mean, Biz and Wit. Biz and R.A. God, LeBron's got to be an answer. Yeah, LeBron James. Uh, yeah. LeBron James is one of them. Other side. One to one. Uh, Messi. Lionel Messi. That is correct. Um, does endorsements count? This is yeah. This is this is everything. Just highest paid. Just period. Roger Federer has to be one. All right. Yeah, definitely soccer, uh, tennis. Yeah, not just Ro- one. He is the number one. Mm. All right, two Serena to two. Williams, friend. No, she hasn't played any. It would all be on endorsements. She could be on there, but let's just not risk her. Okay, so let's think other soccer players like Neymar. Because I play quarterbacks. Five. No, not football. Let's think Neymar. Neymar. Neymar is correct. You guys got the top five. That was very impressive. Top five. Other side. Tied up 3 3 each. Patrick Mahomes. Biz. Well, no, no, no. He, uh, his contract hasn't kicked in yet. So pump the brakes. I um, they asked you, bro. Five. Three. Uh, t- Tiger Woods. Tom Brady. Tiger Woods is on that list. Three to three. Okay, Mm -hmm. tied up. This is a great bonus round. Mm -hmm. Serena Williams. Dagger. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, I mean, other side, you can take the lead here. We just said Tom Brady. Uh, Wait, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. I would say Djokovic's probably ahead of him. Those tennis players make silly money. Djokovic? They're ahead of him. Um, He gave it away. Need it now. Okay, I'm Joe Djokovic. That is incorrect. Okay. Tied up. Not Man, on the top we're 20. Alive. We're still alive. Would you think another golfer? Like a uh, – like Brooks? A Phil Brooks? Brooks? Brooks Kepka maybe? Or a Phil Mickelson? I'd say Brooks. Brooks? Uh, Need it now. Let's say it. Say it. Say Brooks it. Kepka. Incorrect. Yes, you I guys do. get this. You win the two points. In- Antonio Davis. Wait, 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 are you positive, Ra? Well, I mean, fuck, man. There's 15 spots left. There's only one basketball player, like, the best player in the league. No, no, hey, like James Harden would be Five. a better answer. Four. Well, All right, what do you want? Over me, over me. I mean, saying, I mean, I think uh, James Harden. That's the two points. James Harden is correct. It's seven to one. Biz with a fucking clinic there. Hey, what was who was his answer? Don't say it again. Don't say it. Was Anthony Davis on the list? Anthony Davis is not on the list. You're welcome, Ari. There it is. I was going to say say what? Rory. Rory was on there. Giannis, Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, Connor McGregor. 
This is a bloodbath. Okay, last half of this game here, but you guys are still alive. You have your doubler as well. Next category is college football. Ugh. We'll save it. We Don't double? know a thing about it. No, it's going to be hard. Football. Since 1980, okay. name the two current ACC schools that have multiple number one overall picks in the draft. ACC. <clears throat> uh, uh, more time. NC State potentially be one of them? Who is it? I think well, North I, I Carolina. Know Huh? Mario Williams. Mario Williams will be one. Yeah. I think did, um Virginia did, Tech, maybe. Didn't Bruce Smith go to Virginia Tech? Yeah. He was one and, and Michael Vick was one, right? And Michael Vick, yeah. So that'd be a, yeah. What about North Carolina? Did they have a number one pick? Number one picks, number one pick. Uh, you get more time on this because yeah, it's yeah, two yeah, answers. Yeah, yeah. What did you guys say? We haven't seen it yet. Hold on. You're, you're about to get 10 seconds. Florida State had a number one pick. Jameis was a number State. one pick. Um, they had to have another one, right, at some point? Wow, that's a tough UVA, question. UVA, have they had any number one picks? Okay. Uh, All right, and I need an answer in five, four. Virginia Tech and Florida State. Three, Florida State and Virginia Tech. Incorrect. Other side. For the steal. This is not fun. I, I'm is, I'm uh, is, is, my family. Is is Auburn even in the ACC? Yes. Uh, <laughs> is, okay, oh, yeah. so it's so no. it's it's no, no. so, so. Auburn's in the SEC. Auburn's one. Auburn's in the SEC. <laughs> oh, they're fucking with me. All right. Well, see, um, I don't know shit about college football. Clemson. Uh, neither do I, brother. I, don't, I, I suck with traffic. Um, who's in the ACC? All right. It's you it's know changed since the 1980. Though it's changed so much. I mean, it could be Clemson. I don't even know if Syracuse five. Let's say, let's say I'd say Clemson and then Clemson. Florida State. No, Florida State was in the SEC. All right, I need an answer. All right, Clemson and Brandon, how how are we losing this badly? <laughs> I don't know. I don't <laughs> it know. is Miami and Virginia Tech. I, I knew uh, I had to be one of the Florida schools. Uh, yeah. Other side, hey, other side. Yeah. You can get a chance to build your lead here. Since 1980, name the two current SEC schools that have multiple number one overall picks in the draft. Okay, so Auburn would be one. Oh uh, yeah, because um, Alabama, Alabama. I don't think they get first overall picks. Number one, number one overall. So that's Auburn. Yeah, uh, Tennessee, right? Peyton Manning. Did they have another one somewhere too? No, I don't know. I don't follow college that college football. It's such a fucking poor man's game. Um, what the fuck? What no, the fuck? So what do you think? Like in Auburn? In yeah, I, 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 in that, I got so. us, I think. I, oh, Auburn, you, yeah. Are you saying old miss? Was that who you were guessing? No, I'm just <laughs> yeah. saying yeah, fucking right. What, what do you want I need an answer in five. Uh, Auburn and who else? Auburn and Tennessee. Incorrect, Brandon. Brandon, Brandon you, have to, you need it. LSU is one. Jamar Russell and Joe Burrow. Yeah. Auburn, Would, um, Auburn had Cam Newton. Did they have another one? I can't remember another one. Did, oh, has Texas A&M oh, had? Oh, Brandon, you know this. Oh, don't do that shit. Okay. <laughs> I don't have <laughs> accents. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what about Florida? Right like a goat can on the back porch. <laughs> <laughs> this is ugly. This is getting ugly. Um, you got to focus up, though. I need an answer in and three, five, four. LSU and Auburn. That Yay! is correct. You needed that steal bad. It was the guy for the Texans, wasn't it? The first overall. No. There you go. Needed that. <laughs> what do you mean? No. It doesn't mean. Brandon's locked in. No, it's seven to two. I'm. I'm they're doing the accent thing. Oh, it's I, next I, cor- uh-huh. Correction, R.A. was doing the accent. Next thing. category is alcohol and cocktails. Brandon PFT, do you want to double or no? Yes. You do? What? Do you think so, Brandon? No. Yeah, if you know cocktails, go ahead. No, we're not going to double, Jeff. Okay, here's your first question. Well, here is the question. This cocktail recipe is based on rum, curacao li- liqueur, uh, orgeat syrup, and lime juice. Hmm. I mispronounced an impressive three or four of those words. I'm glad we didn't double. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh. 
So the ones that are that are coming to my mind would be Sex on the Beach, but I don't know what's in that. <laughs> and a, a rum runner. I feel like Sex on the Beach would include something that I wouldn't know how to pronounce. That's, that's I, the only reason. The only I'm cocktail guessing. I know is a Tom Collins because my girlfriend ordered it once in college before she broke up with me. Oh, I'm Five, sorry. four, very specific and morbid. Three, two, one. Need We're going to go with a rum, a rum runner, Jeff. Rum runner. Okay, other side. 15 seconds for the steal. This cocktail recipe is based on rum, curacao liqueur, orgeat syrup, and lime juice. I'm on the crew. Uh, Mai Tai, Paul? Oh, buddy, you're asking the wrong guy. My- I was going to... I was gonna guess Pink Whitney just to get the free uh, free endorsement. <laughs> you can say it. <laughs> my tie, yeah. No, my tie, yeah. That is correct. It's a my tie. Oh, <laughs> <my two. God. laughs> oh no! Oh no! You're losing to the the highest drunkest guy on the planet right now, and uh, <laughs> a guy who I I wouldn't have graduated high school for. <laughs> <laughs> other side, other side. Essentially a grown-up lemonade. This cocktail is made from gin, lemon juice, sugar, and carbonated water. Me and me and Biz? Yeah, it's for you oh and Biz. Oh my god. <laughs> um I don't know, flavored seltzer. Is it is it a brand name or like it's a, it's just a cocktail. It's just like a name of a cocktail, not a brand. I mean, it sounds like a. Hong Kong? Jeff's laughing. I mean, is that your final answer? Yeah, let's go with Phil Collins. Hong Kong. Brandon just said Tom Collins, too. How do you do that? You consistently know what the next answer is, just the wrong. Oh my God. (laughs) Biz, all right. I cannot explain to you. This happens every other show. He'll say the answer, not for that question, but the next one. Um, Okay, this is this is this is unbelievable. Category nine is the PGA tour. The PGA tour. I know golf. I know golf. Brandon and PFT. In 2008, this golfer became only the second South African to win the U.S. Open. Ratif Goosen. I don't oh, know. Wow. Wait. That's a, that's a, no, that's a great guess. Ratif Goosen. Final answer? Yeah. Incorrect. Oh, shit, I know. <laughs> this is where it would have been handy. 2008 golfer. Oh shit! What is, is it Olafable? Is that no? Or is he like oh, Spanish? Jesus! How in the hell? <laughs> oh, shit, what's his name? <laughs> I'm, I'm drawing a fucking blank on it. I, it's not Ernie Els, was it? No. Five, four, three, <laughs> two. Yeah, Ernie Els. Hey, Ernie Els. I uh, know. I. Uh, yeah, out of time, out of time. It's there Trevor Immelman. Trevor Immelman. Oh, I would never go. Other that. side, other side. <laughs> In 2006, <laughs> this golfer became only the second Australian to win the U.S. Open. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> Wait, this be- is for us, right? Yeah. Um, I suck at this shit. I thought I was going to know golf. Uh, oh, was that not Johnson? There wasn't a Johnson one. It wasn't a Greg Norman. No. <laughs> I don't know, man. This would have come in handy, bitch. I know, yeah. You could phone wit. You could just move on, though, too. Up to you. You're up by seven. I'll, I'll phone wit. I'll phone all right, wit. All right. They're going to use their phone, a friend. They're going to call wit. They're going to call wit. No, I need to. All right, can you hear me? I can hear you. So I'm live on trivia right now, and me and RA played in your place. Um, The trivia thing, and it's a golf question, and I get to call you for the answer if you know it. Like uh, like a helpline. Yeah, helpline, helpline. So in 2000. Who wants to be a millionaire? Who who wants to be a millionaire? You are 20 times over. In 2006, (laughs) in 2006, this golfer became 
only the second Australian to win the U.S. Open. Jeff Ogilvy. God dang it! <laughs> That is correct. It's Jeff Ogilvy. It is it, 10 man. to 2. Thank you, Whit. You're, you're the man. Phil Mickelson, double bogey, 18 holes. <laughs> like, Thomas Phil bogey all fucking time. And Jeff Ogilvy just like ran, randomly <laughs> snuck in and stole the title. Wingfoot, the tournament's back. Yeah, that was a Wingfoot, yeah. September. Thanks for coming. New York. Dude, uh, yeah. Thank you, Whit. Thank you, Whit. Thank you, Whit. Oh, my goodness. Just, you know, there's moments when we do these where you just know people are going to be very pleased when they right. watch them. This, this, this right, one, hey, we're in the midst of this. But thank this you. was the moment. Um, I didn't know you were still on the phone. That's my bad. Okay, thank you. That's a great use of a phone, a friend, Biz. Buddy, he knew that Mickelson had double bogeyed the, like, 18th. Yeah. He said it was the double, him. the dumbest double bogey. Oh, you heard it? Okay, never mind. Yeah, we heard him say all that. Uh, yeah. Category 10. <laughs> Yeah. This game's over. You guys are you locked it up. You've won. But we got we'll run through these just for the sake of it. Uh, oh, yeah. Television. Brandon and PFT put these three shows in order of most to least seasons on television. Step by step. Chuck and Wings. Actually, a biz and already you could you could set a scoring record at this point. You could tie it up. So you may as well try to yeah. run up the score. Nuts on their face. I, I, step I by step. Like no, I think it goes two. Yeah, this I, is you are. I, I agree. I think it goes one three two. It might go three. Three, one, two, but I think it goes step by step. Wings, Chuck. Step by step. Wings, Chuck. Final answer. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Fifteen seconds. Other side. Put these in order. What did he say? Step by step. Wings, Chuck. Is that what he said? You're watching the same goddamn <laughs> trivia that everybody else has. Right, Twelve down, Flowers. All right, we're gonna say. Um, we're gonna say Chuck Wings step by step. That is incorrect. Wing step by step. Chuck Brandon would have blown a gasket had you gotten that. Uh, okay, you guys have a similar question. Pretty shitty show. Is it all right? Put these three shows in order of most to least seasons on TV: Alf, Night Court, and News Radio. Oh, uh, Night Court went forever, right? Not forever. Um, no, Alf was the least. You know, it will go no, Night News Radio, Night Court, Alf. Final answer. You go. You go with that, Biz. Yeah, I'm good with that. Incorrect. Brandon PFT for Night the Court, steal. News Radio Alf. Say it again. The Night Court News Radio Alf is what I was Correct. Gonna say. I agree. That is right. You steal the points. All right. Two rounds left to close it out here again. Biz already. Yeah, already. Nice. Uh, this is a, it's minor league sports. You're going to see three logos. You got to tell me which one's basketball, which one's baseball, which one's hockey. This is okay. for Brandon and PFT. Basketball, baseball, hockey. Match up the sports with these three logos. Oh, that one looks like that's what a flying think? squirrels. That's a um, yeah. That's baseball, right? Yeah. The middle one looks like basketball to me, and then the one on the right looks like hockey. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, we're gonna go baseball, basketball, hockey. No, uh, it's gonna go baseball, hockey, basketball. Right? Wait, wait. All right. But now saying that lobster, you gotta think New England, like that's where they're all the these. Clause. I'm I'm assuming that's the, the main clause from the um, basketball minor league. So I'm agreeing with you, Biz. I mean, I, okay, I, baseball, oh. hockey, basketball. Final answer. That is correct. Eleven to three. All right, you guys have one on the other side. Just banking them now. Baseball, basketball, hockey, match them up. Uh, looks I, like hockey. Who's hockey? Who's hockey? What is that? It's not so hockey. I don't know what team. It just looks like I'm guessing. Oh, the 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 wolf on the left. The wolf pack. The Hartford Wolf Pack. Is that who that is? Yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, it could be. Okay, so hockey. What's middle? Um, I would say baseball more than basketball, but it's just a, a speculation. I'd say hockey, baseball, basketball, baseball, basketball. Final answer. That is correct. Hockey, baseball, basketball, 12 to 3. Final round we go. Oh, that face. The one on the left, is that the Chicago Wolves? That's Brandon. the Hartford Wolf Pack. Yeah, behind the ball. The Wolf Pack. Mm -hmm. they, they changed it to the Connecticut Whale, and everyone got pissed, so they went back to the Wolf Pack. Uh, okay, F food is the last category. Brandon and PFT, this Italian dessert consists of sweetened cream, thickened with gelatin, and then molded. For real? Brandon and PFD, the, uh, you want to – what? That gelato? Um, 
Is gelato molded? I don't. Th- I wouldn't consider gelato. Probably I'm not. Maybe thicken it with gelatin. I think it's just like a thicker ice cream. Maybe. Um. What Italian desserts do you know? Tiramisu. Yeah. Cannoli. Oh, this is worth two points, right? Yeah. Is creme brulee Italian or French? It's French, right? French. It's French. Yeah. Need an answer. Uh, yeah, I mean, what are we doing? You don't need an we'll, answer. Let's go we'll gelato. Say we'll say gelato. Yeah, uh, other side, any idea? Italian dessert consists of sweetened cream, thickened with gelatin, and then it's molded. Do we, do we eat a lot of fancy restaurants. Italian dessert, that's not gelato. Sweetened cream. Is it tiramisu? Tiramisu. That is panna cotta. Panna cotta. Get the fuck out of here. No, no, no self respect. All right. Fact. Last question of the match. Biz and RA, here you go for 13 points. Black this American dessert, dessert consists of ice cream and cake topped with a browned meringue. What is a dirty Sanchez? <laughs> <laughs> this is this is an unbelievable okay. showing tonight. American dessert consists of ice cream and cake topped with a brownie meringue. I don't know. Baked Alaska. Sure. Why not? 13 to 3. That's correct. <laughs> that is, this was this was one of the most okay, we had 32 of these. This was the most unbelievable one yet. That was a, a that was a dusting. Good teamwork, RA. Seems like Brandon, we, we we complement each other well. Oh, dude, this Brandon, is- we, we gotta we gotta start doing these back in the office. I'm about to start driving into the office <laughs> at nine o'clock at night. I need to get out of this. I need to be in a new environment. For whatever reason, this is not working out for We've me. We've scored seven points in two games. <laughs> I know. We got to have a slump buster. And you've scored five of them. I, I don't I don't know. I'm sorry. I wasn't going to say that. Maybe that you can make the argument that I scored six, but I'll take five. Um, Big, big thanks, Biz. All right. You guys are both very busy. Biz, obviously. Coyote's up two to one. They're not busy. Fuck. Up two to they're one. Yeah, they're, 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 Please. We're coming for that capital's ass, PFD. Congratulations, boys. Yeah, oh, the, oh. yeah the Coyotes. Okay. Hey, all good, man. A lot, lot of fun, boys. Had a lot of fun. Kind of. Do right. we advance to the yeah. next round, or is that it? Know. Hey, you'll you'll come back. You can bring wit. You can bring anyone who fucking care. You just blew them out. So this team's pretty stud, if you ask me. Can we get a free ad because we spanked these guys for pink wit? Oh, yeah. There you go, folks. It's a great it's summer drink, a great winter good. drink. All, all the Chicklets fans celebrate this victory with some pink Whitney. I'm going to have a baked the last. See you boys later. <laughs> I'm going to go night, overdose everyone. on CBDMD.